Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Right, right, brother. So, hey, come on over here. What's your name, bro? You said what? Are you? I saw you earlier. Yes, sir. I, I, I just got off work. I got you got off work, so I'm praying. You said Tyrone? Tyrone, how you doing? So how long you been knowing you Israelite? Six years. You been knowing six years? Yes, and you fellowship with somebody? Yeah. Right now, president? <laughs> How you doing, brother? Yeah, my, my name is Avery. Tyrone, how you doing? Nice right, to meet y'all. Nice I'm glad you came out to be up here, so. I saw y'all when I got off work. Just came back out to change my clothes. This is the message, bro. All right, man. So, yeah, we out here to try to get our people to wake up to be able to show what we need to do to make a change in our community. Right. right. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So, you say you've been doing it for six years and you congregate already? Yes, sir. And you know about the Sabbath day? Yes, sir. You keeping the Sabbath day? Yes, sir. All praise. How, how you keep the Sabbath day? Friday, Sunday, on Saturday, Sunday. All right, and what, what's the what's the rules on that day? No buying and selling, no no cooking. Bro, I, I'm in the faith, bro. Oh, no, I'm just asking one of you. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. You know what? We have people come up here and say they keep it the Sabbath, and then they don't really be knowing because everybody doesn't teach the same thing. I have found this to be true. So yeah. I ask somebody this question, and then they like, well, I keep it, and then I ask them questions. They like they wasn't really keeping. So we're just trying to make sure that our brother, we we all on the same page. Cause we all got, you know, one accord, right? So, uh, you got any questions? Yes, I'm just here to listen to y'all, bro. I'm here to support, B. Just here to support us? Yes, sir. All right, all praise. So, like I said, um, so give me that. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desire. So we have to gather ourselves together. That's why I was important. That's why I asked you what you fellowship in. But that's the important part of it. And if we're not fellowshipping, you cannot do this thing by yourself. You know what I mean? So you've been you've been doing it for like six years? I'm definitely kind of by myself. Why you say that? I'm with the congregation, but I'm, I'm working all the time. I'm basically by myself. So you work on Saturdays? No, I don't work on Saturdays at all. No, I work all the time. I'm not, I'm not all the time with my congregation, you know what I mean? Right, but you fellowship, or do you fellowship on Saturdays? Yes, sir. You go meet somewhere? Yes, sir. All right, so all praise. So, um, well, you know, you shouldn't feel like you're by yourself, though. You're supposed to be in the fight with your brothers, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give me Psalm chapter 133, verse 1. Bring it out. Because it's supposed to be a spirit of unity within your congregation. Definitely. It's supposed to have, if you've been six years, then you should be on this side, really, or teaching somebody at this point. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready. You don't ready. think you're ready? Have they, so that's what we got to do. You should have been built up to be able to feel like you're ready. You know what I mean? So read what you got. Psalm chapter 133 and verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. The Most High love when we dwell together in unity. So that, that's the spirit that's supposed to be behind when you fellowship, when you congregate, when you go into the Sabbath day. It should be a time of refreshing. When all throughout the week you've been, you've been probably getting, you know what I'm saying, and been having a hard time, but when you go to your congregation, supposed to feel like the spirit of Europe, you know what I mean, and you're uh, supposed to be able to teach your people, that's the next level to it, you know what I mean, give me that in Ezekiel, Ezekiel, uh, I'll show that people. Yeah. so yeah, that's what we're supposed to be doing, like, so once you, you learn it, you learn it, because you're not just learning for yourself, right, you got a family, you got a wife, you got kids, got the door, you got a girlfriend? Yeah. So you know again in the Bible you not you can't have no girlfriend according to the scriptures. I know that. Right, so that's a sin. If we, if you're doing that, that's a sin. You technically be my wife by the Bible standards. I, I know that. How so? Because I'm sleeping with her. No, no, no. So give me So according to the Bible we have to have paperwork. You know that? Yeah. So Bring give it me out. that give me that in total. Because our people, the customs that we came, those these customs of America, a lot of them they got out the Bible. Is that Tobit 7? Yeah, I got you. So in Tobit 7, it, it, it tells us the, 
that you must have paperwork, right? It's not just about, and she's supposed to take on your name the whole nine, you know what I mean? Something happened to you, she won't get a lot of things because y'all not married, right? Because boyfriend and girlfriend are not in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? We have to show you out of the Bible how things are actually supposed to go. Because back in the day, her father would have gave her to you. So forth and so forth. So read what you got. The book of Toby, chapter 7 and verse 13. Then he called his daughter Sarah, and she came to her father, and he took her by the hand, and gave her to be wife to Tobias. You hear that? That's how it's really supposed to go, read. Say, behold, take her after the law of Moses, and lead her away to thy father. And he blessed them. And Edna called his wife, and took paper, and did write an instrument of covenant, and sealed it. Right, so we had, what's the instrument of covenant? That's an agreement, right? So you had a, a contract, right? So that's what you're supposed to do. Right now you're not married. Right now you'll be fornicated. That's what. That's, that's, fornication. that's fornication. And without a shadow of a doubt, if you're not married, you have to marry the woman you with. Because God honors. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Because God honors marriage. Marriage is what God first ordained. It was never this boyfriend or girlfriend thing because. It's easy to cut ties like that too, right? Right. Get up. If you're not really vested with somebody where well, y'all actually ex exchange, wrote an instrument of covenant and all. Definition What's that, the definition? All right. The definition of fornication, sexual intercourse between people not married to each other. That's what it is, bro. That's what fornication is. So that and how long have you been with this woman? Now. Right, so you've been with her since she's so she's been basically in this walk with you. Yeah. So this is part of it. She, she, won't, she won't listen. She ain't really trying to hear what the Bible's saying either. She, she didn't you said what? I said she didn't have the name. Yeah, right, right. That's what I said, but if you took steps to be like, look, we have to do this. You know what I'm saying? We we have to get married. You have to wear a dress. You have this is things that you have to do. She says she don't want to feel do what this Bible say, then you got to make a decision yeah, at some point. So, but hey, brother, let me ask you, you got a girlfriend? That's what we say. We all get bringing out. God does not honor boyfriend and girlfriend. That's against God. We're not, you're not supposed to, how the saying go, drink the milk, what the heck go with the cow? Why buy the cow, you get the milk for free. Right, why buy the cow, we get the milk for free, right? So, we're not supposed to be trying each woman until we figure out which one we want. You know what I mean? Because when you do that, you put in different spirits out there. You mess around there and get a disease. You mess around and get a woman pregnant you really don't want to be bothered with. You mess around there and get on child support. The whole one of the things that your mindset, when you have sex before marriage, it clouds your mindset. Bring it up! It makes you not make the right decisions because you're thinking about your lust is, 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 is what's controlling you. Bring it up! You know what I mean? That is not how God wants to operate. She has to be your friend. When you meet a woman, you have to be on a friendship level because you want to make sure this person is going to stick with you through thick and thin. That's you want to make sure this person, if you get sick or something happened to you, they're going to be on your bedside. You know what I'm saying? You don't want a woman, right when you get broke, she gone. She going to hang out with the next man. Like, you have to really examine the women that you with. Read. Want to get the law? No, give me, give me that. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. So marriage is honorable. What's honorable mean? Oh, you too. Whoever got it. Well, I can't answer the question, but uh, I can't answer it. I can't answer it. I can't answer it. I can't answer it. What you think it means? And what you say? So marriage is honorable. It's respectable. That's right. It's looked highly upon. You know. When you see people that's married, up, you, you see a couple. When you see a couple together and they are married, don't they? Everybody, you, you see him with his wife and his kids. Don't that ain't that a beautiful thing? Yes, it is. Nothing better than you seeing somebody, a, a mother and father, a father and mother raising their children. It's nothing that beats it when you're seeing the, the man got his kid on the weekend, drop him back off, 
got to get a babysitter so he can go out. And it, it's all confusion. But y'all see this? It's, our family's in a disarray. If we do not set up the correct order, then everything is going to be in dysfunction. We got to have a whole system thriving off our sin. That's right. You know, child support. Now you got to pay child support. Now you got to get, you get them on this weekend, I get them this holiday, all this foolishness. But if you took the time out to actually, let me, I'm going to get that. We're finished reading this. To, to actually prove somebody, to be able to see what this woman really about. You know what I'm saying? All these women not good. All us men not good. So we got to get ourselves right first to be able to, because it's up to you to be able to lead the woman. Read. Marriage is honorable and all, in the bed and the bow. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So if you jumping from woman to woman, God going to judge you. God going to judge you. He'll give you a disease. He'll give you the monkey pox. He'll give you all these different diseases. He'll make you, you, you get sick as hell, you get AIDS, you get HIV, you get all these different diseases. God put that out there for the simple man. That's one to go ahead and put his rod and everything. Bring it out. That's why he put it out there, to slow you down. Put you to death if you have to, because a lot of times people are not thinking about, they, just think about it. All these women that have been messing, just in general, in the time you've been in this world. All these is actually somebody's daughter. Imagine you had a daughter. Yo, now this woman, you see her getting ran through a, a jump from this dude to this dude to this dude. Like, that's confusion. Bring it up. It's causing all this chaos. Right. Getting, having a sister, they, now they, in their mind, they don't want the baby, he don't really want her, now she about to get an abortion. Bring it up. Look at all the different things that's compelling off one thing. Bring it because up. Because we don't want to be disciplined. These women need guidance. But are you the man to guide them? Or would you destroy a woman? Would you show her the right way? There's a lot of things you gotta self-reflect on. Like you have to really examine yourself. It's a lot put on our plate. We are supposed to be the gods of this earth. That's right. If you are God on this earth, just imagine how much responsibility you got. How many people counted on you? How many people showing you? I mean, how many people you are supposed to show how they supposed to live their life? Because if you change them, so y'all got friends, right? You got friends, and then if you change, guess what's gonna be? It's gonna be a ripple effect. They gonna be in this like, damn man, he said, I remember he used to be out here doing A, B, and C with me. Right. Now he don't do it no more. Right. You know what I mean? And see, oh man, he married this girl. He got his kids with him. You, you know how many times I hear that? That's what I'm saying. I'm hearing that, brother's like, man, I wish I had my kids with me. I wish I ain't had to do this. I, man, I, man, you made the right decision. You know what I mean? Like, you have to, it, right now, you don't have no kids. Got so that's what I'm saying. Right now, the opportunity for you to correct everything. Because guess what they gonna do? They gonna follow suit after you. Right. They see, oh, well, my, my mom had to be with my dad really, or uh, I could, I ain't really gotta do this or do that. They not gonna take it serious. Right. But if they know, like they know that my mom and dad was together, or oh, they know, I didn't say, he didn't say my dad always been married since I was a little kid. Like, I, he was, he's trying to show us the right way. Bring it up. It's up to you. Because if not, guess what? You might have a son that mess around there. Now he on child support. Now he mess around there and get a disease because he's following after us. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is